Yeah, I don't I don't like the human looking Pokemon. It's the same reason why like I don't like giving animals people names. It's because they're not people. Yeah. Pokemon are not people. You can't just shove people into little balls and that's don't make that joke. <laughs> no. But if you took somebody and tried to teleport them into a little ball, I'm pretty sure right now that's illegal because, first of all, it's kidnapping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Second of all, you'd probably have to kill them to do it, which then it's abduction and murder. Mm -hmm. So, and you know it has to be premeditated because you had to figure out how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's 20 to life right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This this took an odd turn. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> why are we talking about prison sentences? <laughs> We're playing Pokemon. Who is this? Same. One we oh, okay. It's only got oh level nine. That's almost a bead drill. Like, why is he still a Weedle? What because are you doing? he Whoa. because the owner keeps tapping B. <laughs> I think for Weedle that there's no reason to. I want... Come on. Well, th just because there's no reason to doesn't mean that the owner doesn't prefer Weedle over Kakuna. Yeah. Matata. And he only wants to deal with Kakuna for one level. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't blame him for that. Kakuna Matata. That is a ridiculous name. I'm using poison, which is poison is considered physical in this one. Wow. Yeah. I like that there are so many monitors in this room. <laughs> Just so, so many. Mm-hmm. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Eight yeah. monitors. They have a lot of monitors in here. I mean, three of them are four... Five of them aren't being used right now because three of them are con connected to a different computer station. Mm -hmm. But yeah. And some of them aren't actually monitors. Some of them are TVs that we're using as monitors. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. It's just it a, works. Just a kind of a network. Yeah. Woohoo! We made it to Pewter City. Yeah, don't, don't, don't think we got them all at once either. This is like six or seven years of building up to this crap. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that Jigglepuff. He looks like he's seen some stuff. <laughs> he does! He's like... <laughs> it's like, uh... Don't, don't, don't take the candy, man. Don't take the candy. <laughs> it's like those videos where like it zooms in on somebody's face that looks like they're having trauma. And it does like the overlay of like war. <laughs> oh. <Pew>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell my wife I love her, man! <laughs> What do you want? A fairy. Can we fight Brock? Should we fight Brock? I what is our what are Brock. what are our levels? What are our attacks? Um, Bulbasaur definitely has. Okay, so what moves do, does he have? Okay, well he has Leech Seed and Vine Whip, so he'll be fine. Yeah, but he's not going to be any use at all. No, no, he is not. All right, well we can try it. Save, save before we do it. All cool. right. He looks like he has a unibrow. <laughs> Doesn't he, or are those glasses? They're glasses, but it just He looks, looks like he has a unibrow and saggy eyeballs. Yeah. His eyeballs are just melting up. <laughs> There's only one trainer in here. Brock, you suck! You know, he looks more like the, uh, Lieutenant Surge. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Geodude! We were originally gonna have Geodude on our team, but we changed our mind. Yeah... I like Geodude and Graveler and Golem. Golem. It's, I really like Golem cuz he just he looks so silly with his little tiny arms and legs and head sticking out of this giant rock. Also, what's up with his evolution? So he starts out with Geodude. He's got two arms and no legs. He evolves to Graveler. He gets an extra set of arms and a pair of legs. And then he evolves into Golem and he loses a pair of arms. No, he still has that extra pair of arms. It's holding up the rock so it doesn't crush his <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> That's why we don't see the other pair of arms. Yeah. It's, it's protecting his oh. fragile skeleton against them. Sandshrew. Wow. I like Sandshrew. 
He doesn't really have that great of a moveset. In the Pokemon show, his trainer has a weird accent. Uh, Come on, say you true. A AJ or something like that? Yeah. Uh, it's I, like the worst so southern accent. It's not it's even southern. So, no. It's like it's, southwestern, I think. It's so bad. It's, it's not even a real accent. No. Who talks like that? <laughs> Somebody who's trying to do a bad accent, that's what. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah, I know. That is like the only thing that really stands out. I have seen... I, that's the Indigo League, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I've seen that two or three times. <laughs> and it's an inc incredibly unmemorable anime. Yeah. Except for scenes like that. Yeah. <laughs> there are a couple of things that are super memorable, but most of it just kind of slides right past your it brain. It does, yeah. The Pokemon scene. Now, Yu-Gi-Oh, that sticks. <laughs> but not because it's a good anime. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god, I remember. The heart of the cards. Yeah. What's wrong with his hair? Why did he just grow two feet? I remember the... I don't even remember the premise of that show. Yeah. At least just... Pokemon is easy to follow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's just... Some of the songs they played on Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 were just so bad. I remember you playing me some a while <laughs> yeah. back, and I was just like, what is this? <laughs> it's the... It's like the brothers... Like, we're brothers, but now we have to fight each other. It's so <laughs> bad. <laughs> oh. Why does Brock have blonde hair? Well, now it's brown. What just happened? <laughs> At least he still has the, the green cargo pants on. Yeah. He, I guess he zipped up his little vest. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, he did. God, Vests Geo, are dude. so nice in the winter. Level 12. Because I believe that sleeves don't belong on shirts, they only belong on jackets. <laughs> so vests are awesome because you get to wear a jacket without sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Do all the defense curls you want. I feel like I got grass moves. You did. Bam! Not even a critical. Aw, he now, did. Now we gotta fight, uh, Onyx. I should practice my- Oh look! Circuit leveled up! Onyx, yes. This is kind of risky, but... So whatever. when he levels up to Raichu, is he going to become an integrated circuit? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, electronics humor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, tackle, let's see. Five damage. Okay, not too bad. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, it's Onyx. I feel like the, the music is really loud. Oh! Did you just one hit kill him? I one shot that Onyx. Wasn't the level discrepancy like four or five? <laughs> what just happened? Jeez. You annihilated him. What is your special attack? 25. Oh. I mean, it's good. I mean, but... that's why we decided to go with. Well, it doesn't really matter in this one because we have so <laughs> little. Holy crap, though. Jeez, Bulbasaur. That is. Crazy. I, just, I don't know, maybe it's just because of all the memories of trying to use Charmander and just Brock just being this huge, like, unscalable wall, and just Bulbasaur just comes over here and just, like, blows on it and just falls over. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, wow, okay. I always, I always chose Squirtle and Bulbasaur, so I never remember Brock being that hard. Yeah. But I always remember, also, I prepared for it for hours. Oh, yeah. Just doing all the grinding. Yeah, like I would go in there with nothing less than 2 or 3, 14, and 16 level Pokemon, which... Jeez. I... He gave me... What was it? Rock Tomb? I have no idea. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, I hate the TM case. Yep, yeah, Rock Tomb. Oh, Pokemon Go just released TMs. I'm so excited about it. Mm-hmm. Because I have uh, that ghost Pokemon with the zipper mouth. Bennett. Ben yeah, I always want to call it Bayonetta, and I'm like, that's that's the hair lady. <laughs> like, I, I I don't even need to go to the Pokemon Center. Like, let's look. You should do it anyway. Get your PP back up. <laughs> <laughs> your two PP that you used. <laughs> yeah, you just annihilated him. Uh, yeah, I was expecting that to like. You. 
<laughs> Jigglypuff. <laughs> you know why Jigglypuff looks like that? Hmm. Is because his trainer took just him and Jigglypuff into be Brock. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the gun sounded like. The Jigglypuff can only can only make gun sounds now. Yeah. <clears throat> so this we don't need to go in there. Hmm. Anything else? I think. No. I wanted. It looks like you can like walk between the shrubbery. Yeah. The okay. shrubbery and the jump point. Yeah. Oh. All right. So, wow, that went real. Pewter City. Wow. Oh yeah. So the end of my story was my Bennett, Bennett. Mm -hmm. My ghost Pokemon has perfect IVs. Um, but its attack rating was like D, and its defense rating was F. I'm like, I have a perfect IV Bennett. How, how is this gonna work for me? Mm-hmm. So what I ended up doing was using the only TM I've gotten off of Pokestop so far, used it on him, and my attack and defense rating went to AA. So now I have a perfect IV Bennett with attack and defense ratings of AA. Mm -hmm. Which means Yay. he is the ass annihilator. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was just wondering when I was going to get the running shoes. Oh, oh yay! Oh, oh. We're about to get Pokemon number three. That girl looks like she has a boner. <laughs> no, no, well, not now, but when it goes back to the other screen, take a look. She totally has a boner. <laughs> okay, perfect Pokemon. This, maybe that's why she faced her butt towards us when yeah. she decided. She's like, oh, no, no, look, I'm too excited. <laughs> Pidgey. Whether she's a cross-dresser or a transgender, I'm glad that... I'm glad that she turned her boner away from us. <laughs> it was really awkward. <laughs> awkward boners Level are 10. awkward. Yay! Speed, so... Pikachu doesn't level up unless you use an electric stone on him, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Pidgey. Chose circuit. Like, it's perfect. All these bird Pokemon. The this type of trainer usually carries normal type Pokemon. Yeah. The low level normal type Pokemon, right? Lass. Yeah. Yeah, lasses and juniors, I think. Yeah. And preschoolers generally carry baby Pokemon. Yeah. I don't think they have preschoolers in this game though. I don't remember them being in this one. But they have last, lad, and youngster, and generally those three types of trainers carry normal type Pokemon. Mm-hmm. See, look at her boner. <laughs> I know that it's her skirt now. Yeah. But it totally looked like she had a boner. <laughs> Dude, our special attack is, or our speed is up to 26. I know. But with, uh, with Pikachu, go back to like... Pikachu. Okay, so his regular attack is going up faster than his special attack, but yeah, so... electric is a special type. And, and, yeah, that's the point I was, so Pikachu uh, has higher attack than special attack. Yeah. If I remember right. But he's electric type, which means he's a special attacker. But, so it's kind of like, eh, that means he's kind of... But it, his, his special attack and attack are close, so it doesn't really matter. But there's some Pokemon where, like, the difference between attack and special attack are, like, huge. Which... Like Bulbasaur? Yeah. So imagine if Bulbasaur was attack, right? Like, the grass was um, attack type, you know? Mm -hmm. Then he'd be kind of useless because it's like you only learn grass type moves. Like, uh. I know. I know. But I'm, I'm really glad Gen 4 um, I like split how Pikachu up. dances. Yeah. Can I see? So, are the different regions in Pokemon, are they different countries? I... Or are they just like different states in the world of Pokemon. I'm not sure. Hmm. That's... Yeah. I, I'm sure there are people who are sure. Like yeah. crazy Pokemon people. <laughs> yeah. Cancel. There we go. Move their attack... The, the attacks that they're most likely going to use up at the top. I forgot you could do that. Yeah. You've been able to do it since, like, the first game. Oh, but... yay, another bug catcher. He's probably getting destroyed by all these rock types. I know. 
<laughs> the rock and the bird types. I'm caught up with you. <laughs> Level 10, why aren't you a Butterfree? I know that his name is Butterfree because it's like a butterfly. Yeah. But when I was a child, I could never understand why they named a Pokemon after Butter. Butter, yeah. yeah. <laughs> free the butter! <laughs> the butter is free. <laughs> hmm. I, I never understood that. I remember my my grandma Barb. She didn't know anything about Pokemon, but she loved Butterfree. Some people just love them butterflies. Yeah. Dude, she would have loved Vivillon. Oh, yeah. Because it's got all of the different patterned wings. Mm -hmm. I think I have 12 of the 16 types of patterned wings you can get. Yeah. I have like 4 or 5. I I spent 2 or 3 weeks trying to get as many different patterns yeah. as I could. Whoops. Might, might be a good time to get some antlers. Sometimes all you have to do is hatch a bunch of Vivillon, mm -hmm. throw Oops. them up on the, the trade system, and see what you get back. That's actually how I got... The, the GTS, and that's actually how I got most of my types, and then once I had a bunch of doubles of the more rare ones, I started started looking for people who wanted to trade the, the other rare ones for the type of rare ones I had. Yeah. Like, it, there was no guarantee. Quick attack- ooh. Yes, please. Because he only has one attack right now. Uh, let's get rid of, um... We don't need... We don't need defense, because he's a special attacker. Wonder Trade was also pretty spectacular. Yeah, Wonder Trade was always fun. The problem with stuff like that is, like, five years down the road, is it even going to work anymore? Yeah, uh, probably. I think, um, I want to say the black and white servers have already been shut down. But, uh, yeah. I... Like, I understand, but that's, like, the biggest problem I had with the Final Fantasies online, mm -hmm. too. Because Final Fantasy is such an expansive series that has a ton of replayability because of the story structure. Yeah. Why you can go make that shit online where you're going to shut down the server someday? Yeah. It... I guess you could always build and host your own server, but what yeah. a pain in the butt. Well, I don't know if they're still doing it, but Square Enix had like its own division of people that were like scouring the internet and shutting down all private servers of Final Fantasy XI. Really? Yep. Why? They just really don't want it, which is really annoying. It's because, like, I'm sorry, but I'm already playing Final Fantasy XIV. I don't want to pay for Final Fantasy XI. Oh, well. was it a subscription service? Yeah. No, circuit. The circuit, the circuit has shorted. 